Hey guys, Aaron Teal here with Intune Marine. This is a performance bulletin. I'm sitting in a VX20 from Vexus Boats and we're gonna show you what this boat can do. It is a humid day up here in Minnesota, but we've got a 250 horse Mercury Pro XS on the back of this, hydraulic jack plate, 23 pitch Fury 3 blade prop, two eight foot Raptors, we got a Golos, three Lowrance HDS 12s, active target, this is a single console. We have a quarter tank of gas, full tournament load. We're gonna fish off this thing, we're gonna drive this thing, and we're gonna show you all the performance attributes that you get in a VX20. Let's do this. So we're idling out here, and this is some shallow water, and one thing a lot of people don't understand about this VX20 is it actually drafts extremely shallow water and it obviously depends how much weight you have in the boat but typically I've been able to get over a foot and a half two feet no problem one thing that allows you to idle through this stuff a lot more conveniently is that hydraulic jack plate so when you're in shallow water or you're at the boat ramp bringing that thing all the way up really allows you to keep that motor at a better angle so when you have this long idle through shallow water it's not so painful and you're not fighting the weight of that outboard over itself trimmed up too high so that's a great aspect of this boat and it's a performance attribute for sure. And you know, we'll get in some deeper water here and we'll show you the whole shot next, but it's absolutely impressive on this Vexus boat. These VXs are, are some of the best whole shot boats that we carry and uh, we'll show you here in a second. Now a thing you'll come to know about these Vexus boats, they're easy to drive and the whole shot. Now. One drop off plane, easy to drive. All right, so we just got done with the run and we did 68.9 miles an hour. RPMs were at 5,900 to 5,950. Kind of saw that 5,920, 5,930 mark at wide open. And the jack plate setting I'm running, it's, it's saying six on the jack plate. That seems to be where it likes to be. It doesn't like to be real high, but it doesn't like to be all the way down unless it's rough out. But uh, yeah, I had it at six and then I was able to get a little bit more out of it, bringing it back up to eight. Um, but yeah, right between that five and nine on the jack plate seems to be the best uh, and if you're running an Atlas. And uh, overall performance, we had a fast hole shot, two to three second hole shot. The mid-range acceleration, this is not a big lake and we were able to top this boat out, you know, in, in not a large distance. So uh, it's humid, it's hot. So I mean, this boat, when it's cold out, like when I, when I first ran this boat, it was a 70 to 72 mile an hour boat. And we're about to show you how tournament loaded this thing is because it's chock full of stuff. So overall performance uh, driving this boat, it's fun, it rips, the acceleration's insane. It's a big platform and uh, top end is not, <laughs> it's not anything to scoff at. So let's see what's in this boat. Let's check out our tournament load. All right, so just to show you guys how much stuff we got in here, I think I have everything I own in this boat. It's insane. Check this out. This boat holds just an insane amount of stuff. This is, these are big totes. I'm able to stack them too high on each side. 3,700s across. Got my swim bait heads on top. Some miscellaneous stuff I gotta grab quick. My hook box, I mean, just so much stuff. And then you get into this box and it's like, this is the stuff that, you know, I kind of transition out. Holy smokes, we got our worm box, we got our Nico worms, we got our whisker dews, we got our spinner baits, we got our jig trailers, we got our jigs, we got our spy baits, we got our 10 foot divers, our 8 foot divers, our 6 foot divers, our 4 foot divers, our top water box. 
our lure die, our fishing line, extra life jackets, throw cushion. Quite a bit of stuff. We haven't seen the back yet. I mean, rods don't add a ton of weight, but we got a pile of those in here. Pile of rods. We've got a nice spot for my jerkin plug right there. Pretty sweet. And these lids, you want to talk about performance. So both don't perform very good if it throws your rods in when you open your rod locker. So one thing I love about these Vexus is those rods weren't strapped down. I just ripped this locker open. They angle that lid just perfect. So you don't have to worry about losing that $300 G Loomis or whatever the heck you're throwing. Uh, but they thought of you because these guys fish and uh, that's one thing that's just really cool is the company culture is is these guys are fishermen and they build boats for fishermen so let's look at how much stuff i got in the back so i got a day box here full of stuff cooler we could probably add 20 more pounds of ice it's pretty empty but it fits just a pile of ice and it's insulated so it keeps it for days so you want to talk about performance you're not performing very well if you're not hydrated and Nobody likes some, you know, bath water. It's good cold, right? We got a pile of stuff back here and room to spare. So we got our treble hooks, our Senkos, a little bit of Smalley Beavers, like pile of 3700s, more jerkin plugs, top water box, uh, fluke box, another jig box there, the big jig box, JP's rain jacket. Probably could fit a couple more rain jackets here. In fact, I'm actually gonna move my rain jacket over there if that's okay. I got my blackfish gear here. I'm gonna move that over here. And then we got a pile of stuff. I got a toolbox that comes with every boat. My Lowrance covers, more tools, more stuff I don't throw, more stuff I don't throw. And I can keep it all in one spot, so <laughs> really sweet aspect. So this thing's a warship too, so we're gonna talk about kind of how it fishes, the platform, the maneuverability, how it sits in the water, etc. Let's check it out. So one thing you'll notice when you're fishing off of a VX20 or VX21 is there's a pile of room up here and they're a very stable boat, so you're not gonna see a lot of tip when you walk from side to side so you don't need to worry about getting thrown out of the boat if you bring uh, one of your buddies with and uh, it's very spacious up here so you've got a nice stepping platform here nice open space here so you need to make a roll cast it's no problem and if you're flipping like we got some nice grass here so if we both wanted to flip this you can get two guys up here doing that So it's very good that way. This boat is gonna sit a little bit higher out of the water, which is a huge aspect. If we're looking at grass and we're looking at milfoil, uh, you know, assessing what the best is to flip your jig at, you know, it's really nice to be able to see into the water. Another thing is we're up in smallmouth country, so a lot of sight fishing goes on up here. So um, this boat is probably the best sight fishing boat made. So I've got a pair of polarized glasses on and you're really able to see into the water better out of this boat. Another thing, they pad this deck up here, so like I've got a bad back, so fishing off this boat is just a breeze all day. And then they EVA this part here, which is a high traffic area. It's also where you sit to rig, so it dries fast. So guess what? Sprinkles here in a minute. 20 minutes later, I'm not gonna really be afraid to sit down and retie my jig, because uh, that stuff dries fast and it doesn't mat down like carpet will over time during this through this high traffic area. So the boat, it's big, it's plenty of space, but it's nimble. Like it gets around very fast. You need to get around docks, you're able to work around those. You're able to make a lot of different casts off the boat. Straight perpendicular, no problem. And it really just gives you close access to those fish and there's really not a lot in your way. Uh, Another aspect, they do build their own mount, which really allows you to put two depth finders in here and not have them hanging in, in weird spots. You can put your foot switches down, recess foot pedal right where it needs to be. You can kind of, you know, use that where you need to. Deck's plenty long, deck's plenty wide. And it catches some bass too.
Better gone. Ooh, girl one. Oh. I'm Aaron Teal with Intune Marine. This is the VX20 Performance Bulletin. This boat can run. This boat is nimble. And it'll catch bass too. All right, we just got off the water in this VX20 for our performance test today. We had a two to three second hole shot, insane mid-range acceleration, and 69 miles an hour for our top end speed. We had a full tournament load, hot and humid, we'll take it. I had a blast, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to call and book a test drive in this, this pretty girl here. I'm Aaron Teal, this is the Performance Bulletin, and we'll see you at the lake.